Flux is a, a chemical that we use to control oxidation during soldering, and it's a necessary part of the soldering process. Uh, however, at the end of the soldering, uh, you generally are left with a, a residue that covers your circuit board, and with enough time, the solder flux may actually begin to corrode the parts of your circuit. It's a process that may take years and take a long time to occur, but it's something that you may want to control. In order to do so, the standard rosin flux is uh, rather resistant to most kinds of solvents. And so we have to use uh, a particularly toxic solvent known as trichloroethylene. And this is uh, a known, also known as dry cleaning fluid and is what's responsible for giving your dry clean clothes that little bit of smell when you get them home from the dry cleaners. But this is a solvent that's effective at dissolving the, the flux. Now, in order to avoid the use of this solvent, you can either A, leave the, the flux residue on the board undisturbed and, and know that your circuit may deteriorate over the years. Um, or you may look for an alternative flux formulation. There's water-soluble flux, which can be cleaned with water and detergent. There's mild fluxes that can be left on the board. And there's no clean fluxes that leave virtually no residue at all. And these can be selected in, uh, instead of the rosin flux and be just as effective. Now, if you do decide to go ahead and use rosin flux and trichloroethylene to clean, you'll want to take precautions against the vapors. Uh, first, you'll want to protect your skin using gloves, perhaps a, a coverall, to make sure that it doesn't get onto your, your, your hands or your skin. Um, and you'll also want to make sure that the area is well ventilated because the vapors will build up very quickly. Um, in states like California, the trichloroethylene, I believe, is, is banned and you, you're not legally allowed to use this in that state. So it's not something that you may want to use in, in, in widespread use. So make sure to consider your state laws and, and make sure that it's legal to use where you're, you're planning on using it. Thank you.